Almighty God, who has given thy only Son to be unto us both a sacrifice for sin and also an example of godly life, give us grace that we may always most thankful receive that has an inestimable benefit, and also daily and ever endeavor ourselves to follow the blessed steps of his most holy life. Through the same thy Son, Jesus Christ our Lord, who liveth and reigneth with thee in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Our first reading this morning is from Proverbs. Wisdom hath built her house. She hath hewn out her seven pillars. She hath killed her beasts. She hath mingled the wine. She hath also furnished her table. She hath sent forth the maidens. She clieth upon the highest place of the city. Whoso is simple, let him turn in hither. As for him that wanteth understanding, she saith to him, Come, eat of my bread, and drink of the wine which I have mingled. Forsake the foolish, and live, and go in the way of understanding. Our Psalter this morning is from Psalm 34. O fear the Lord, for ye is saints. There is no want to them that fear him. The young lions do lack and suffer hunger, but they that seek the Lord shall not want any good thing. Come, ye children, hearken unto me. I will teach you the fear of the Lord. What man is he that desireth life, and loveth many days, that he may see good? Keep thy tongue from evil, and thy lips from speaking guile. Depart from evil, and do good. Seek peace, and pursue it. Our next reading this morning is from Ephesians. The fornication and all uncleanness, covetousness, let it not be once named among you as become as saints, neither filthiness, nor foolish talking, nor jesting, which are not convenient, but rather giving of thanks. For this you know, that no whoremonger, nor unclean person, nor covetous man, who is an idolater, hath any inheritance in the kingdom of Christ and of God. Let no man deceive you with vain words, for because of these things cometh the wrath of God upon the children of disobedience. Be not ye therefore partakers with them. For you were sometimes darkness, now are ye light and Lord. Walk as children of light, for the fruit of the Spirit is in all goodness and righteousness and truth, proving what is acceptable unto the Lord. And have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness, but rather, Reprove them, for it is a shame even to speak of those things which are done of them that seek her. But all things that are reproved and made manifest by the light, for whatever whatsoever doth make manifest is light. Wherefore he saith, Awake thou that sleepest, and arise from the dead, and Christ should give thee light. See then that ye walk circumspect, not as fools, but as wise, redeeming the time because the days are evil. Wherefore, be not unwise, but understanding what the will of the Lord is. And be not drunk with wine wherein is excess, but be filled with the Spirit, speaking to yourselves in psalms, and hymns, and spiritual songs, singing and making melody in your heart to the Lord, giving thanks always to all things unto God and the Father in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, Submitting yourselves one to another in the fear of God. Our final reading this morning is from John. I am the living bread which came down from heaven. If any man eat of this bread, he shall live forever. And the bread that I will give is my flesh, which I will give for the life of the world. And Jews have swolder among themselves, saying, How can this man give us his flesh to eat? Then Jesus said unto them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, Except ye eat the flesh of the Son of Man, and drink his blood, ye have no life in me. Whoso eateth my flesh, and drinketh my blood, hath eternal life. I will raise him up at the last day. For my flesh is meat indeed, and my blood is drink indeed. 
He that eateth my flesh and drinketh my blood dwelleth in me, and I in him. As the living Father hath sent me, and I live by the Father, so he that eateth me, even he shall live by me. This is that bread which came down from heaven, not as if fathers did eat manna and are dead. He that eateth of this bread shall live forever. This concludes the leads for this millennium. grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, love of God, and the communion of the Holy Ghost be with you all. Amen. Jesus freak out.